Four relationship destroying habits. Hi, my name is Ed Riggins, but most people just call me Riggle. Welcome back to Thoughts for Thursday. Since the 1970s, American psychological researcher John Gottman, his research partner Bob Levinson, and his wife Dr. Julie Gottman have studied the behavior patterns that predict divorce with over 90% accuracy. Whereas many before him worked with theories, Gottman created a laboratory that measured blood pressure, facial expressions, and even blood chemistry while committed gay and straight couples were dealing with conflicts in their relationships. If you want to have a strong relationship with your committed partner, these are the four behaviors Gottman said we should avoid. Criticism, defensiveness, contempt, and stonewalling. Number one is criticism, which is stating the problem in the relationship as a defect in your partner. Criticism leads to the second destructive behavior, defensiveness. Defensiveness is any way of warding off a perceived attack. The third destructive behavior and the best predictor of divorce is contempt. Contempt is any statement you make to your, make to your partner from a superior place. If you speak down to your partner with an air of superiority, that's contempt. Makes sense, doesn't it? Can you remember a single time in your life when you enjoyed someone speaking down to you? The fourth destructive behavior on Gottman's list is stonewalling, which is listener withdrawal. That's when you just check out and signal you're no longer listening. Gottman points out that, these, that successful couples expect conflict and approach conflict with a sense of friendship as well as a shared sense of responsibility for finding a solution. They just don't take things personally. He teaches us that there are three elements to this sense of friendship. One is getting to know your partner by asking open-ended questions and then remembering their answers. Two is building a sense of fondness and admiration for your partner by looking for what's going right instead of what's going wrong. And three is turning toward your partner when they come to you seeking affection or emotional support. I can tell you from personal experience that feeling a profound sense of friendship toward the person with whom you're in an intimate relationship is a pretty great thing. And to apply Gottman's logic more broadly, am I the only one who thinks our politics to do with a lot less criticism, defensiveness, contempt, and stonewalling? Especially in the case of contempt, is there anything that makes for a more toxic environment at home or in the public square than talking down to each other? I've got copies of links to Gottman's videos. If you'd like to have them, just reply back and I'll shoot those to you. Great to be with you. Thanks very much.